a short VHS style horror game where you step into the shoes of a paranormal investigator. As you venture into the eerie fervent campsite, you'll uncover a mysterious obelisk with cryptic symbols, abandoned white tents, and an unsettling ritual book. This tape contains raw footage from the fervent campsite Palm City State. The camera with the tape was found near the campsite by a local resident who claims that a paranormal investigator was spotted in the area. The tape contains unexplained phenomena and chilling evidence of the supernatural activity. Your discretion is highly advised. 1045. Oh my god, I'm dyslexic. I'm driving a Chevy. Ew. What the hell, man? I'm in a, I'm in a fucking park. Who leave their trash out here? I hate niggas who litter, bro. Oh, okay. Perfect campsite administration letter. March 5th, 2006. Over the past few weeks, there have been a series of unsettling occurrences at the campsite. Strange symbols have been found etched into the trees and rocks, and unusual structures in the obelisk have appeared without explanation. Our efforts to investigate this phenomenon have been inconclusive, and the presence of these anomalies has only grown more pronounced. Additionally, several campers have reported experiencing disturbing visions and hearing eerie sounds emanating from the woods at night. These accounts combined with the discovery of an enig enigmatic ritual book in one of the abandoned white tents has have raised significant concerns about the safety of the campsite environment. Hmm. Let's see. Do I have a gun in the bag I can take out for safety? No, of course not. That would make too much sense, wouldn't it? That's when you turn your ass around and you leave. Investigate what? You want, me, you want me to investigate that shit? Nah. I'd rather not investigate the fucking cryptic noises in the woods, bro. I'd rather go home and investigate a TV dinner, bro. Okay. This kind of reminds me of Dead Space, bro. We're gonna have some... What are they called? Necro... Necromorphs? Yeah. I mean, this campsite is dog water, bro. These tents are ass. It's some bullshit. Ritual to break the... Excuse you, I'm trying to read here. Ritual to break the curse of the trapped souls. If you're reading this, it means that you have found the pickaxe hidden by us, the survivors. Long time ago, we were part of a group dedicated to bring peace to this cursed campsite. People kept disappearing and we had to act. During our ceremony, something went wrong and the ritual summoned the fervent ghoul, a human-like creature, which will stop at nothing to get you. Remember to find the book under the rock, a special rock, different from others. Bring the book to the lectern. Afterwards, you must light all the candles near your tents and free the trapped souls. The lighter will appear in front of you. Use it. We believe that it is the only way to defeat the ghoul. So find the book, special rock, lectern. Only know that word because I play Minecraft. And you must light all the candles. Okay. Special rock. Special rock. I already forgot. <laughs> Special rock, book, lectern, light. And this rock don't look too special to me. Tell me I'm getting chased by a fucking ghoul in here. What kind of ghoul? A fallout ghoul? If it's a fallout ghoul, I don't think I got much of a problem unless it's like that one nigga from the show who's built different. Man, you don't sit your ass down, bro. Go to sleep. Fucking badass kids, bro. Had to be nosy and shit, bro. Go your ass back to sleep. There is nothing for you to see out here. That nigga was out there a second ago. Hey, yo. Nah. That is not a deer, bro. That is a skinwalker. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. They say it was human-like. You ain't human-like, so I got nothing to be afraid of, right? Right? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't even that loud. That shit scared me. Nigga, where's the special rocket, bro? He's a fucking lectern. Somebody was trying to turn a villager into a librarian, I guess. Why couldn't you be more descriptive? Can the ghoul read? Would bro have read the message that you gave me? You couldn't have been like, oh no, it's the rock over in that little corner over there. I put like a big ass um, X on it so I can know you can find it. Is, is the ghoul that smart? I've been walking around for way too long, bro. Just have the necromorph come rip me in half. These niggas had to be all secretive of where they place shit at. Knowing them well, they needed help. And they expect me to solve that shit, bro. Nigga, I am not Sherlock Holmes, bro. A rock is a rock. If I ever find myself doing some secret fucking evil ass ritual or some shit to banish a ghost, the last thing I'm going to do is leave a nigga a fucking riddle, bro. I'm going to leave him some detailed instructions. I'm going to leave, bro, a 20-step program he can easily follow to find the fucking book. Nigga didn't even say special in what way, bro. In what way is it special, nigga? Like, is it, is it smaller than the other ones? Bigger than the other ones, bro? Is it green? Is it red? I don't know. Because right now, all I'm seeing is some dirty-ass rocks with some moss on them, bro. Oh, my God. It was in the fucking corner of the map, bro. Give me that damn book. God damn it. 
You know how long I've been looking out here for this fucking book? Like, bro, I'm, I'm sure the ghoul wasn't that smart, bro. Bro, it was supernatural. We're going to do move the book. He would have done it anyway. If he's smart enough to read, he's smart enough to figure this shit out. Oh, now here comes the ghoul. Now this nigga mad because I'm over here winning. Hater for real. That's how they are, bro. That's how you know someone's a real fucking hater. They'll be around the right kind of people because the moment you start winning, bro, they're going to come for your ass. They can want a piece of that pie, bro. Everybody can have a piece, but not right now. Yeah, make sure the pie's big enough first. This nigga slow as shit, bro. This nigga literally couldn't be walking slower. Am I supposed to be afraid of him? This is worse than a Fallout ghoul. This nigga can't even walk. Bro! Oh! oh my god. Oh my god. Was that little doll, bro? Did I lose or win? Let me go back and see if that was all the uh all the dolls. I wasn't actually sure. But why does any family go camping without a weapon? I mean, like I get it. Like maybe it's maybe it's like safe or something, bro, but like my dumbass pressing escape button. What the fuck? But like why not bring a weapon with you? Cause like you're in the middle of the fucking woods, bro. You don't know what might come and like eat your ass. So at least bring like something with you, bro. A knife, a hatchet, something, bro. A gun. Preferably. What's good, good old dude? I'm just gonna walk right past you because you, you are slow as shit, bro. Okay, I think I passed it because it didn't jump scare me that time. Oh my god, bro. You're getting dusted right now. How, how'd they lose to you? Do they have no legs? Cause like that's the only way I can think of it, bro. Cause I could probably call away faster than your ass could walk, bro. Like for real. Well, I'm finna see what happens when he kills me. I don't see how they lost to you, bro. These cultists must have been 90 years old or something. Like, there's no way. All right, kill me real quick. That's it. Okay. Well, their story. Uh, don't go camping. Ever.